the Trump administration reportedly planning to announce new higher tariffs on China as soon as this week. China firing back this morning, vowing retaliation. Our Kayla Tausche joining us from outside the White House with the very latest. Kayla, is the news here that that, that tariff rate, the tax rate, moves higher on the $200 billion worth of Chinese imports? That is the news, Sarah. And if you needed proof that perhaps talks between the U.S. and China aren't going or progressing as well as perhaps uh, investors might hope, uh, all you have to do is look at this Reuters report, single source as it may be, uh, that says that the administration is considering raising the tariff level on the previously proposed uh, $200 billion export tranche that they had introduced in June. They would raise that to a 25 percent tariff from a 10 percent tariff. Uh, and regardless of whether this may or may not not happen for what it's worth. The White House nor the U.S. Trade Representative had responded to my request for comment before coming to air. Uh, it certainly has piqued the retaliatory interest of China. A spokesperson for the foreign ministry in China saying uh, this about that move, if it were to happen, saying U.S. pressure and blackmail won't have an effect if the United States takes further escalatory steps. China will inevitably take countermeasures and we will resolutely protect our legitimate rights. So we will see if, in fact, this uh, announcement does come this week and whether we can put any more details on that. But it would certainly seem to signal that the administration is willing to escalate this in a way that would cause more collateral damage to consumers. Back in June, when the administration first announced that it would be targeting these $200 billion in exports, Peter Navarro, one of the harder line trade advisors at the White House, when I asked him at a briefing how they were going to limit the impact on consumers, he said, well, the fact that this would be a 10 percent tariff and not a 25 percent tariff is designed to essentially blunt the impact that consumers would feel in the form of price increases or potential job losses. So certainly this would be a move that would go beyond that assumption or that calculation by the administration and could potentially cause more consumer damage. We'll see what the White House has, if anything, to say about this uh, and whether that news does come to fruition. Guys. Yeah, because this this is the list, Kayla, that involves all sorts of consumer products that we buy from China, right? Furniture and baseball gloves and food and fish. And I mean, it's a long list of stuff, but it's stuff that directly will impact U.S. consumers. Exactly. It's stuff you find at the grocery store, at the hardware store, at the uh, appliance store. It's stuff that consumers come in contact with uh, every single day, it would seem. And it would also uh, seem to go against a painstaking process that the USTR has gone through up until this point uh, to evaluate public comments and weed out or eliminate any products that would be seen as having an undue impact on consumers or on specific companies, this would essentially cast such a wide net that it would be hard, if not impossible, to avoid that.